This short video was designed to introduce you to ID Week and provide helpful information for new attendees. ID Week is the premier international scientific meeting of healthcare professionals in infectious diseases and healthcare epidemiology and prevention, including researchers, clinicians, quality and patient safety practitioners, epidemiologists, and public health officials, as well as those who see HIV and pediatric patients. Nearly 6,000 specialists attend each year. It is a forum for health professionals of varied backgrounds to collaborate, cooperate, and learn from each other's expertise. ID Week is the joint scientific meeting of the Infectious Diseases Society of America, the Society for Healthcare Epidemiology of America, the HIV Medicine Association, and the Pediatric Infectious Diseases Society. With so many common issues and challenges cutting across our four disciplines, ID Week provides an opportunity to learn from each other's knowledge, experience, and expertise for the improvement of patient care and public health. ID Week offers medical students and residents a first-hand look into the world of adult and pediatric infectious diseases, healthcare epidemiology, prevention, and HIV. Anyone considering a career in these fields is encouraged to attend and participate. Registrants can attend any number of over 150 scientific sessions. A trainee track is outlined to suggest sessions of interest. Medical students and residents receive registration rates as low as $50 and can submit abstracts to apply for travel awards and grants of up to $2,500. My name is Anna Weil and I work at Massachusetts General Hospital. I'm currently an infectious disease fellow there working during my research years. My first time at ID Week I was a medical student and I really enjoyed at that time learning more about uh, what people actually did in infectious disease, finding out what the areas of interest were in the field at the time and this helped me to understand if it was a good fit for me. So for someone who's considering attending for the first time, I would encourage them to have an open mind about what kind of sessions you attend, especially early in your career. It's uh, very important to explore a lot of different areas and talk to a lot of different people. And I think uh, the conference is a great way to learn more about the infectious disease community and also to learn about what types of people work in infectious disease and what the different career paths are. Submitting an abstract is the best way to share your scientific research with attendees and experts in the field. In 2015, 1,672 abstracts were presented in 142 poster and oral abstract sessions at ID Week. Poster sessions are abstracts that have been selected and grouped together by category or topic. Oral presentations allow the presenting author to discuss his or her scientific research and summarize the data into a comprehensive 10-minute presentation, with five minutes designated for questions and answers. Abstract submission deadlines are in May, and late-breaking science is accepted as late as July. The presenting author of the abstract may apply for travel awards and grants of up to $2,500. My name is Kate McManus. I'm a fellow at the University of Virginia in the Division of Infectious Diseases and International Health. I've had a great experience with submitting abstracts to ID Week. While I was a resident, I did a project that was clinic-based and had maybe 200 patients in it. Um, it really allowed me to get my feet wet working with clinical research, going through the institutional review board process and ethics, and thinking through some of the problems that come up with clinical research. Um, and that really gave me the basis to move on to my project during fellowship, which is a larger statewide um, policy change project. And I really think that it was that first ID Week experience that got me interested, kept my interest going, and kind of helped me know that I could take these next steps. In terms of advice for someone submitting their first abstract, I would recommend starting about a year in advance and working through some of the methodological parts of the project. Um, working with a mentor who's helped medical students or residents in the past and working on the institutional review board part and thinking through the ethics probably in the fall so that you can do data, data analyzation and get everything polished to be ready for the spring submission. The exhibit hall is open three days during ID Week. Attendees receive complimentary coffee and lunch in the exhibit hall and have the opportunity to visit with professionals representing the latest products and services in the field. So if someone's still undecided about coming to ID Week, I would recommend that they just come and check it out. It's hard to describe all of the uh, community that one can observe here, the types of people that you meet, uh, and discussions you have with them when you have so much scientific um, information that you're thinking about and that you're uh, triggered to discuss with all of, the, of all of the people here who are doing very interesting work. I think it's hard to encompass exactly what that experience is like. Uh, since it's kind of the spirit of the group, so I would encourage that people just come and check it out. I think that if someone's on the fence about coming to ID Week, I think that they should definitely come. If you're a medical student or a resident, there are so many interesting topics to learn about. Um, it, it gives you an idea of all the different broad aspects of infectious diseases. If you've been practicing a while, it might be a good way to come and brush up on certain topics, especially some of the clinical controversies or the challenging cases. 
Um, I think you know there are just so many great things going on. Sometimes you'll have to run from room to room to catch it all. And it's just a great opportunity also to even run into people you might know from medical school or residency or fellowship and reconnect and find out what everyone's doing. ID Week attendees have first-hand access to the latest scientific development and leaders in the field. It is an exciting week and an excellent way to decide if this is the specialty for you. We hope to see you in the fall. Learn more at idweek.org.